Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Chavez here with Fandroid.com taking a look at the all-new Android L developer preview. Now this was uh, shown off during Google I.O. 2014 yesterday and made available to all today uh, via the Android developer site. Now there's a, a factory images that you can flash onto your Nexus 5 and Nexus 7 2013 Wi-Fi. Uh, but, you know, you got to you know how to do that sort of stuff. <laughs> um, but it's just a few easy commands in ADB and Fastboot and all that fun stuff. Uh, uh, once you do, you'll be running this very, uh, I guess, experimental or beta version of Android that's uh, supposed to be coming out later this year, um, but not officially. Right now, it's just kind of in preview mode so that developers can kind of get their hands on and start building apps and OEMs can figure out what's coming on down the line so that their phones can get Android L in the very as soon as it drops so uh, first off you're going to notice that there is this crazy new lock screen swiping down you can see here you can expand these notifications and they kind of move up uh, swiping down again will bring up these toggles but that's more of a uh, notification area feature swiping up will go ahead and, and unlock your phone let me lock it again and then show you uh, there are gestures so you can go back and forth to dismiss individual notifications and swiping over this direction you can see here uh, the phone icon starts slowly growing and it's a shortcut to the phone uh, or the dialer while swiping this way will open up the camera let's go ahead and just unlock here and taking a look at some of these new notifications or the uh, notification area now swiping down will open up a notification or expand it just like that uh, if there's multiple I imagine they're gonna all stay very um, compact but swiping down again will pull up these quick settings toggles that normally you can only access by doing that two finger swipe or swiping down and then pressing the little quick settings button. Kind of annoying and extra taps and all that stuff and just not so intuitive, but now uh, they're all here, very easily accessible. A little bit weird with the UI and things look a little bit messy and strange and everything's kind of separated and sort of like cards, but not really. And uh, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Again, it's early, no big deal. There's a uh, brightness toggle settings here. And uh, let's just go ahead and dive into the settings now so that we can see what's going on there. Going into settings, you can see it's uh, now a white interface with these little green accents, which is very interesting, to say the least. Uh, we don't know if there's going to be maybe a theming option later or what, but this is kind of what it looks like right now. Uh, going into sounds and notifications, you can see, oh, that was cool. You see that? Bloop. All these little animations everywhere. That's kind of the name of the game for Android L. And they have this new Do Not Disturb mode. So if I go here, you can see there's Do Not Disturb. And when it's on, you can allow maybe just phone calls, maybe just messages, or just whatever. And you can even set it so it's only specific contacts, like your starred or anyone else. And you can have it so it automatically turns on, which is a very nice little feature as well. Um, pretty pretty schnazzy dazzy. Uh, the keyboard, there's some interesting stuff. Let me go ahead and show you. Uh, well, I guess in the, the home screen here, pretty much standard affair. Nothing's really too new here. Um, holding icon, holding down the home screen still brings up all the familiar stuff, just like on a Google Experience launcher. Uh, but the keyboard, the keyboard is all new and improved. You can see here, you still got the swipes. It's got cool little animation pop-up stuff when you type things, and it's got a little search button here. Um, pretty cool. But you'll notice that's a dark, uh, dark theme, I guess you could call it. And yesterday there were some leaked screenshots of a uh, white version as well but if I go into keyboard options here you can see here I'm gonna scroll down to advanced settings and there is this color scheme option right now it allows you to go back to just the ones from ice cream sandwich which is blue and then white which is from Kit Kat uh, I don't know if these will be updated later to actually allow you to choose the different color schemes of this the stock uh, Android L material keyboard that would be really cool uh, I really hope and cross my fingers that you can do that <laughs> later. Um, something else that's new are these little nav buttons here. You can see here they look like PlayStation icons, which is kind of interesting. If I click the recents, it's all new as well. So you can see here you have settings, you scroll down, the Play Store, camera, whatever else you've been playing around with. Um, and you can swipe stuff to close it, which is neat. Whoop! To close an application. Uh, let's go ahead and show you off this dialer. The dialer is all new. You can see very bright, very colorful. Uh, some people say this looks like iOS or TouchWiz or the LG's new interface. Uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe, you know, Google gave those guys a heads up on what's coming on with the new Android interface and they just followed suit a little bit before Google. Who knows? But go ahead and click this. You can see all kinds of animations. Everything's moving around. It's really cool and <laughs> pretty darn neat. That's your history up there. 
Um, yeah, so I guess that's pretty much going to cover it for Android L, the developer preview anyway. Uh, be sure to st uh, stick around and check out Fandroid.com. We're going to uh, include screenshots and go a little more in depth and see what else we can find that's new with Android L. But uh, in the meantime, this is just a quick preview of what to expect. With Fandroid.com, I'm Chris Chavez. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.